And I do want to ask, uh, talking about the schools, I have three boys in the schools. Yes, sir. Um, the drug programs. Um, more and more cases are being publicly um, reached that there are abuse problems um, within drugs and there are programs to right. help those. Correct. Um, one of the things that I know um, that Mayor Adams has done is something with Matt Force. Would you continue that? Would you have him aboard with that to continue that? Or would you start something on your own um, to address that issue? That, that, that's interesting because the one thing that Mayor Adams has been really positive on is that program. Now that program started before Mayor Adams came on and it's something that I think we need to deal with. One thing that I've learned recently um, is that we do have a, a drug problem that may, in Sedona, that we wink and nod and maybe don't want to talk about. I didn't realize until recently going out, talking to a lot of, a lot of individuals that have kids in the school system that are worried about the drug problem. Now, I know we have a resource officer, but that doesn't solve no. the situation. Um, you have D.A.R.E., you have the, the MAT situation, and, and drugs, I mean, that's pre prevalent in all corners of society. It's not a poor man or a rich man. It covers every economic uh, end of, of society. And, you know, it's just getting out the information. I know that um, meth in the state has actually dropped in, in use because of those scary posters. This is what you're going to look like on meth. And I tell you what, that's changed a lot of kids' attitudes about that. Now, they may be doing something else when we have to work on that situation, but... We'll get some more pro pictures and just call it whatever that is. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Just just change the but, name. Oh, I tell you what, and, you know, I, I do understand meth because I had a brother that was addicted to it for a long time, and, so and he's, he's still alive, which is amazing that he's even alive. Yeah, he's not on it now, but it just messes you up. Now, as far as community involvement, um, like the film festival, like the food bank. There's so many nonprofit organizations. Um, actually, I would like to address affordable housing. Yes, sir. Because that's a very, very big deal around here. That's been kicked around more than a ball at a dodgeball competition. And sadly, there's been no resolve, um, but we've got teachers that we offer them some type of salary. Police officers, we offer them some type of salary. But to live here, I believe my last analysis was they need to make approximately $60,000 a year to own a home in Sedona, Arizona. Shouldn't there be affordable housing? Absolutely. Uh, there's, there's some problems in the sense that by state law and, and things, you cannot... Um, do certain aspects of affordable housing. I think that Sedona, though, has been pretty proactive with the Housing Commission. Um, we've gotten some affordable units approved. We've only, I think there's only four that have been built so far. But when, when and if the economy turns around, which I know it will, when I shouldn't say if, when, when some of these developments come, come on board, we're going to get some affordable housing that way. But the AUDs, which passed the other night, is a wonderful way to get some affordable And the housing. AUDs are? The AUDs are accessory dwelling units. Uh, that means that either you come up, if you have a guest home that um, maybe may or may not be in compliance with the city, which means that you couldn't have a full kitchen. Somebody might have put a full kitchen in there. If you get an inspection now and you have all your P's and Q's done, you'll get okayed and you'll be able to rent that out. Uh, it's not the cure-all. It's you know it's not going to save us from from this problem, but it's going to help. We're in a situation where land values are so high, and and, and we're going and, and I said this the other day in one of the forums. We have to nickel and dime ourselves to get to the point where we get some affordable housing. Where we get our sense back. It's that's exactly <laughs> sense. And, and this is frustrating too. Is is in Sedona. We talk about all this philosophy, what we believe, um, as, as a community, but then, then you get people that come in and 
and they Rain well we the want grade. yeah we want affordable housing but it's we want delicious. affordable housing but we want to control it and we want to send people out to make sure that they're not doing this or this or this well then all of a sudden we isolate people so then it would be a fair assessment in saying they're talking about it but there's nothing being done exactly so would it be safe to say if you were to be elected there would be no more talk there would be results? well i want to go forward yeah that, that's the whole thing with Sedona. We have a tendency to go forward, and then we take two steps back, and then we go forward again. And we're dancing. And exactly. And, and, and then you get, we're a very transient city, and I don't mean transient in the sense of, I mean, when I say transient, I'm talking about the people that bought homes here, expensive homes, they spend a year or two, and they complain about things, and they get politically active, and then they're gone because Sedona doesn't hold. 11,377 residents, uh, and we get 4 million tourists a year. Of the 11,377 residents, there's only about 35 to 40 percent full-time of those people. That's exactly right. This is a second home for people. C correct. So we really need to emphasize on those 35 to 40. I'm not saying that the other people don't have say in this, but the people who live here, buy here, shop here, school here, they really have more relevance. It's like an emergency room. You know, they're going to see that sick person now opposed to that person calling in over the phone complaining of an ailment. That, I couldn't say it better. That, that's a problem that we have to deal with. And, and the other thing is, you have a business here, I have a business here. My business, we collect sales tax for the city, both sales tax and lodging tax. I, 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 when I say I, the family, my wife and myself are the family. We own Rancho Sedona. Rancho Sedona generates a little over 70000 a year directly to the city coffers. We have no property tax. I would like to keep it that way. I have no problem with the sales tax that we have to pay as a business person. But I feel like I'm a second-class citizen when you have these people that live here part-time and some of them are full-time residents that just want to rip the business community. I don't know what part of the, I don't know what part these people don't understand that we're a tourist town and that we have a sales tax base economy for the city. Yeah. We don't have property taxes. I like it that way. But Sedona in itself, you know, they say numbers don't lie, people do. If our residents are 11,000 and change and our tourism is 4 million per year, well, that's where we're making our money. That's how we're surviving. We need to, we need to emphasize on the businesses and how we can better the community so more people visit and more people live here. Uh, not sure about live here. <laughs> uh, and I mean that because, because right now, S Sedona, um, our population is pretty steady. We don't have a lot of growth. And that's another complaint that you hear. Oh my God, we're, we're growing, we're growing. But, but it's been 1% or 2% for 5 or 6 or 7 years now. And, and then since the economy stalled, there's no growth right at the moment. But we have that tourist space and we do have to share Sedona. It, it, it is a wonder. It is beautiful. I think that's why we all moved here at, for one reason or another. We were a tourist and we loved it here. Um, I found a business. I wasn't specifically looking to move to Sedona, but it sure was nice to move to Sedona and find a business. <laughs> right. so, so, so I understand that, but, but yeah, we have to share Sedona. This is a wonderful place to share, and, and that's how we derive our income. And, you know, I just think it's, it's nuts that you, that you move to a place because you were tourist at one time and then don't want anybody else to show up. It's mine. Yes, it's all mine. <laughs> and that, that they will. Um, this was Jerry Fry. We've been meeting here and we we're talking about his um, candidacy for mayor of Sedona. And I want to thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. And you're watching this on Market News Media. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.